guys, what's up? How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing July favorites. I'm gonna be sharing all the stuff throughout the month of July that I really fell in love with. I think you guys are gonna be super excited about this month because I have a ton of drugstore stuff. I just went shopping at the drugstore, revisited some old favorites, and tons of favorites from the drugstore this month. Um, so yeah, before we get into it guys, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, that you give this video a thumbs up, and that you guys also come follow me on Instagram because I'm on Instagram when I'm not on YouTube. And if you guys go and like, like my latest picture and leave a comment on it, I almost always go through all your guys' accounts and like some of your pictures back. I love seeing what you guys look like and just like leaving you little comments and stuff. So um, be sure to come follow me on Instagram because that is where you will find me when I'm not on my channel. So let's get started. Um, I don't know where to start. Now that I look at this pile, I have about 40 things in front of me and I'm like, what were you thinking that you could just casually talk about 40 products in one video? So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through all, the, through all of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is just pick them going by favorites. Let's get started off with the Maybelline Instant Age Run Concealer. I wear the shade Sand and you guys have probably seen this in so many of my videos because I have loved this for so many years but I really fell in love with NARS Radiant Creamy for so long and I just didn't really use anything else for quite a while but I purchased a new one of these. Completely have fallen in love. It's the concealer that I'm wearing under my eyes today and I use it to do um liquid highlighting as well and I really like this because it's long wearing and it never like crumbles or cracks off the face and you get such amazing full coverage from this um, you guys know how when you kind of try to do touch-ups with your concealer it can sometimes just start looking really bad because it gets really heavy um, it starts crumbling it starts cracking on the skin it's like concealer has a sweet spot and if you put too much on it just looks really bad cakey on the skin doesn't look natural anymore but throughout the day especially during these hot months your concealer can start to like wear away and touching it up is always like a hard thing to do but i've really been liking this hourglass veil retouching fluid mine is also in the shade sand and this is essentially like a really sheer concealer but it has a little bit of an illuminating quality to it so it reflects back light and it just looks really pretty but blended out it gives you just the right amount of coverage it's really perfect for doing touch-ups throughout the day okay so I have to tell you guys about this again because I really do love it. It's the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer in Bronze. Now, the reason I wanted to mention this again is because I use this every single day. I cannot put it down. I feel like I have to share it with you guys again. I know I mentioned it last month, but I really genuinely love this stuff so much. And something that I've also been doing is wearing it on its own because it doesn't make you look like a crazy person. A lot of times Radiance Primers can kind of be like a little bit too metallic and not something that you can wear on their own. This one I find that I can wear all by itself and it just gives me an amazing glow. And you guys have been asking on Instagram like nonstop how I've been getting my skin to look so glowy in photos. And it is this, like this photographs beautifully. It looks so beautiful on camera and just in person too. Highly recommend this, really can't recommend this enough. And it's the bronze one specifically that I've really been loving. So I had to give it a two P. I I was gonna say three P, but missed opportunity. I'll have to mention again next month to get a three P. This is a blush that I've been obsessed with. I cannot recommend you guys this blush enough, especially if you guys have a skin tone similar to mine, you will live and die for this blush. It's the CoverGirl Cheekers blush in, I don't really know the name for sure because it actually came on like the little slip, but it has a code on the back. It's 156 CNN TST, which I think is an abbreviation for cinnamon toast. So I do remember the name having something to do with cinnamon, but as you guys can see, it's just the perfect mid-toned brown. Wow, the sun went away and now I'm gray. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's just like the perfect. And then I just spit on camera. It's a really pretty mid-toned brown. It goes with whatever eye look you want to pair it with because it is a beautiful, flattering, warm undertone brown. Love it. I had to wait a minute for the sun to come back out because it was really driving me nuts how everything went super gray. Next thing I want to share with you guys is a bronzer that I've really been liking. This is the Rimmel Radiance Brick. I purchased the shade Medium. And what I really like about this bronzer is that it is subtle and sheer and has like the slightest sheen to it. It's multi-tonal as you guys can see, but I just basically 
run my brush through all the shades and then I use it to just like lightly bronze my skin. It's nothing too intense. I think it would be extremely beginner friendly. And the way that I've been liking to use this is kind of as a bronzer topper and really pulling it in more towards the center of my face. Whereas sometimes I feel like when I put like a really pigmented bronzer too close to the center of my face, it can sometimes make me look muddy and dirty. But this is so subtle that it doesn't ever look muddy and it looks really beautiful on top of other bronzers because if you use a matte bronzer this puts a little bit of a subtle sheen on top and it just makes you look glowy reflective amazing quickly want to touch on another product that you guys have seen in a few other videos the Alme duo highlighting duo now I really like the stick the stick is so beautiful so so gorgeous and creamy and just gives you like a true wet sheen to the skin. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the highlight that I'm wearing on my face today. I've got it on the cheekbones. I've got it on the inner corners, on the bridge of my nose, like up on the cupid's bow and stuff. I just think it's super flattering. I don't find myself using the liquid side quite as much, but it is nice to have. I guess I shouldn't say I don't use it quite as much. I just use this one like every single day but this side I don't find myself using as much but it is really pretty to mix in with foundations and stuff every single lip favorite that I have this month is a nude I apologize but I think nudes go with everything I think nudes are the shade that most people wear on a day-to-day -day basis and I think that every time I wear a nude lip, you guys always want me to share the shade because I think you guys like nudes the best too. So you guys will be excited about these, as excited as I am. So the first thing has been like my go-to lip liner all this month. It's the Revlon Color Stay in the shade Nude. It is like the perfect rosy nude. It's slightly more like reddish pinky rather than like beigey brownie, but I actually really like that because it kind of gives your lips like a little bit of a flush, kind of like a bitten look. And because it's color stay, it's super long wearing, so it lasts a lot longer than a lip liner that's not long wearing, so. Yeah, really been liking this one. I'm gonna start off with the gloss I'm wearing right now because I am obsessed. Obsessed, it has been like, I don't even know. I just, I like it a lot, you know what I mean? It's the Revlon Plumping Lip Cream, Plumping, Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, really long name. Um, my favorite shade is Almond Suede. I personally find that this is the one that's the most um, you know, suit, suited to my skin tone and I am wearing it with this lip pencil that I just mentioned to you guys. This stuff has like a little bit of a minty tingle. I'm not allergic to it, but this makes your lips look so plump because it's a plumping lip gloss. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm sorry. I know that annoyed you guys in a previous video. So I'm trying not to do that when I'm like talking about products, but it's easier, you know, cause then I can like see what I'm talking about. But this makes your lips look so full and it just has a really pillowy, cushiony, creamy formulation. It feels so like luxurious and just amazing on the lips. I love this. I love the packaging. I like how it's in a little squeezy too. Nice slanted tip. Loving this. Next thing I want to talk about, I think these are new. It's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and mine is in the shade Amazonian, which is number 70. Guys, this stuff is long wearing, so long wearing to the point that it blew my mind because I was like eating, drinking, and it stayed on my lips. And then the other thing is that it's matte, but it doesn't feel like any other matte liquid lipstick that I've ever used. You guys know that I pretty much hate liquid lipsticks and I also don't like super matte liquid lipsticks. This one has a really nice finish, feels super lightweight on the lips and I always, I almost always put a gloss on top just because I don't really like the matte finish but even though I put a gloss on top, it lasts so long. The shade is also super fat, flattering. It's like a praline, orangey, under nude, undertoned nude on me. Last lip favorite, you guys knew this was coming. It's the Chrissy Teigen Beach Bum Gloss. I loved this in the overview video I did. I think this is like the perfect JLo nude. So I'm still thinking about doing a JLo makeup tutorial. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do that for you because I wanna do that soon if you guys want that. But I just love this. It's like the prettiest, kind of like peachy beige undertoned nude and they have a lot of coverage to them and just have like a overall really nice packaging, all that stuff. So that's all the makeup. Let's move on to the rest of the stuff. I don't want this video to be obnoxiously long for you guys. I wanted to quickly mention a nail polish that I've been loving specifically for pedicure. You guys 
probably don't know this, maybe you do, but a lot of times I feel like certain nail polishes just look better on the toes than they do on the hands or vice versa. And this one specifically I think is like the perfect pedicure color. It's the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color in Mauve Over. It's like the perfect mauve nude to where your toes look really nice and pedicured and then it's, you know, like a little pop of color. It's not just like a standard Sorry, I think I'm gonna burp. It's just not like a standard nude. <laughs> I don't know why I had to announce that, but yeah, it's like a really pretty rosy mauve nude, which I think looks really pretty on the toes. So I've been loving that. It also lasts a really long time if you use a good base and top coat. Next thing I wanted to share with you guys is the root color I use because I did switch up my root color a little bit. I don't know how much you can tell on camera, but I wanted it to be a little bit more rich and chocolatey. So I used this. This is the Revlon Excellence Browns Extreme in BR3 Extreme Medium Golden Brown. Purchased this at Sally's. Use a volume 20 because my natural hair color is black, so I did want a little bit of lightning in there and I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really nice um, and I'm actually thinking about going brunette again guys just for the fall because I'm getting that itch to change my hair color again. You know me. I feel like I can't keep the same hair color for more than a year or I just go crazy. Next thing I want to share with you guys is another hair product. It's the Evo Fabuloso Caramel Color Intensifying Conditioner. Now I'll show you guys what it looks like. You guys can see it's like brown in there. So it's kind of like a tinting conditioner and I have only used this like three times. I've noticed a huge difference from it because it keeps my blonde looking caramel and warm. I don't like my blonde to be too ashy and I also don't like my blonde to be too blonde because I feel like against my coloring I have very dark features. It just doesn't look right and there was a point in time where I felt like I was actually too blonde and it just it was so unflattering in my opinion. I just didn't like being that blonde. I was like, it's gonna be fun. I love going lighter, but I didn't like it. So um, I like this because it keeps my hair color at bay and really just keeps these blonde pieces the ideal shade that I like them to be because they're right in my face and I don't want them to be too light. You know, I don't want to be platinum. So I just wash and condition my hair as normal. Then I apply this to my hair, leave it in for about three to five minutes, and then it's done. It looks awesome. It's really nice. The next thing I want to talk about is something that I repurchased. So I was like, if I'm buying a second bottle of it, that means I have to mention mention it in a favorites video. It's the Jergens Natural Glow. Now specifically the one for medium to tan skin tones. This is so amazing for keeping up your self tan so that you don't have to go in and reapply self tan quite as often. It really does just help your spray tan last a lot longer. So I use this every single night and I figured I would also share with you guys the tan that I've been using recently and you guys probably already know this but it's my absolute favorite. It's the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This one is the ultra dark one and then I also really like the Two Hour Express in dark. I kind of prefer the Two Hour Express just because it's a lot less fuss, no muss. Yeah, no. Last thing I really want to mention to you guys are the Arcana. I do drops. I talked about these before in a video, I do believe, but my eyes right in the outer corner and right down here get so dry. It's really apparent. They sometimes like break open and crack. You guys have seen the dry patches that I'll sometimes get around my mouth that break open and crack. And I use this even around my mouth as well. It's just a really thick, super borderline like slimy hydrating eye cream, but it really changes the dry patches in my skin and also it looks like liquid opals on your skin like you guys can probably see that color shift on camera it's insane it shifts from like green gold it's so beautiful and you really only use the size of a grain of rice and push it into the skin but it's really really made a huge difference in my skin and arcana if you guys are interested i'm pretty sure I will let you guys know in the description box, but I believe that this is like an all natural brand. So if that's something that you're interested in, they're definitely one to check out. It's pricey, but this is worth it and I can't recommend it enough because of how much it's really helped those cracked dry patches in my skin personally. Oh, 
But yeah, guys, that is everything that I wanted to share with you this month. I hope you enjoyed these favorites. I'm going to have everything linked and listed for you in the description box as always. If you have any questions about any of these products, um, you guys can always hit me up in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you didn't earlier. And also make sure that you guys come follow me on Instagram if you didn't earlier as well. Um, I will see you guys in the comments. So leave some comments down below. I love talking to you guys. And I will also see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys. Let me know if you want that JLo tutorial. And send inspo photos. Send me inspo photos. Let me know if you want that JLo tutorial. Okay, for real now, I'm going. Bye. <laughs>